Hey everybody, today I decided since you know we're staying at home and we're not going as many places now as we used to um, due to the virus out there and that's not why I'm wearing the gloves but that's a good idea if you're going out. I decided to make broth today so I thought well why not show y'all what I do. I don't throw things away that often. I mean very rarely if, if, that I, we throw things out. So now that we're conserving things and trying to make our food stretch I make broth instead of buying broth. So I thought I'd just show you what I do. Well, yesterday we had carrots on a salad. So I had the tops. Don't throw the tops away. They're great for your broth. You can also use them in uh, like parsley. I use carrot tops like I would parsley. So for this, I would just roughly chop them. You don't have to do them in any particular order. You just kind of roughly chop them and just add them to your crock pot. I do everything in the crock pot when I make my broth because it's gonna simmer about 24 hours. I'm sure you all have onions that, that do this. You go out into your little onion container and you want an onion and they've done this. So what do you do with that? Yesterday with our salad, I took, cut the uh, green tops off and I made them like this for the salad. But since I'm gonna make broth today, I'm gonna just use these greens right in here I drop them all in here I don't measure anything I just put whatever I've got available on hand to make broth um, let me show you what I've got in my freezer right now that I'm gonna add to the broth this is the bag of how I do it everything that I have left over I just put in a bag and throw it in the freezer this bag right here has got green beans it's got leftover mashed potatoes, um, some little bit of roast beef from last night, so I've added the broth from that in here. Um, there's chicken bones, there's butter beans, there's green beans. Don't throw any skin away off of your chicken. Just add it all in there and then I would add that big clump of frozen goodies into the crock pot. And then there, there. Sometimes I break them up. Depends on how much I've got in here. Just break it up a little bit so it's easier to handle or lay in there, right? If you have anything that's left over in your fridge and you haven't frozen it yet, you're not going to eat it tomorrow. Throw it in there. Okay, we have fresh turmeric right now from the garden, but if you don't have fresh turmeric, we also have our daily dash that I can put in there, and I'm doing that for the to boost our, your immune system in the uh, broth. I don't always add it, but if I've got it fresh, I will grate it with this microplane and I'll add that to it. I had it out yesterday making lentils, so they were really good, by the way. If you haven't had lentils and fresh turmeric, you need to try that. I added some of those same green tops of my onions to the lentils yesterday. I'm not peeling this turmeric because I know Farmer Greg has not put anything bad on it, so when he, uh, we don't use any chemicals when we grow things, so I know it hasn't had anything on it. If I was to have bought it from the grocery store, I would have probably peeled it. But since I know there's nothing on it and it's all organic, I'm not worried about peeling it before I grate it into this. Just get all you can off of it. Of course, you know everything you use with turmeric is going to be yellow. When you get down to the middle part, don't worry about it, just throw it in. Everything will be yellow when you use turmeric. But that's good, let me add this to the sink. Also, I think I need a towel. Wipe some of that turmeric off my hands. I'll also throw a little bit of apple cider vinegar in it, use the kind with the mother. Shake it up really well. Again, I don't measure anything. I just kind of do it by eyeball or how I know it will be for taste. So I'm just going to just dash one or two teaspoons of tablespoons of that in there to your taste. Get a little bit of kosher salt. A couple te teaspoons of that just for flavoring. And then from there, all you do, you can add more to this. You, sometimes I have it really full, sometimes I don't. Depends on what you've got available. And I would just come over here and finish filling it up with some water. 
That way you get good broth. You're going to get probably from this crock pot, I usually get about four quarts maybe of the broth after it's made. I would just fill it up to the top here. Hope y'all are having fun at home with the kids or I've been doing puzzles and reading books and just staying out of the out of town, away from town. You would put it in the crock pot, put the lid on it, and turn it on low and let it cook all night. Um, overnight, this one right here, particular one, it'll cook for 10 hours on low, and then I leave it on warm, which is about six, eight hours. And when it completely cools down, then you would strain it off. And when after I've strained it off, I put the broth in mason jars. I leave about an inch headspace on that. And then I just stick this jar into the freezer. Won't hurt it at all you, to freeze. Just make sure you have the headspace. And then when I take it out as quarts. I take out a quart, thaw it out, and I keep a quart in the fridge most all the times. So that's how you make broth, and I thank you for joining us on the farm today.